there are no cars without problems. But most of these problems can be avoidable if you are keen on maintenance. That's my truth, and I stick with it. Although there are certain cars with problems that are unavoidable, or maybe you can avoid them. Anyways, let's get to see it. Number one is the Land Rover LR3 air suspension leakage. Land Rover is a premium British brand and they like to install air suspensions in their car because air suspensions are the best kind of suspensions. It's like you are floating on air. But then the thing with air suspension is that you can only enjoy them when the car is brand new. But here in Nigeria, we buy foreign used cars, so the probability that we enjoy them is like really, really low. Another thing is that in Nigeria, you cannot, anyhow you want to do it, the air suspension must leak. It must leak. I don't know how much it costs to fix your air suspension once it leaks. About one millionaire. That's huge. Number two is Toyota Camry oil bond defect. In the 2007 Toyota Camry, there is one very annoying defect. It is the oil drying up. When you service your car normally and you get the oil, you just find out that your oil keeps on reducing and reducing. That is Toyota Camry sucking up your engine oil. You know, but the sad part is there's, there's nothing you can do about this. All you have to do is just top it up whenever you notice that the oil is getting low. Number three is the Honda ball joint issue. This is probably the most common car defect in Nigeria because every term they can have knows that one day that your Honda is probably going to your work. Honda enthusiasts have become accustomed to the sounds and the signs that happened just before this ball joint failure. So you should probably learn from them if you are thinking of buying a Honda model below the year 2014. You know, the way Honda designed these ball joints was that it will shift on minor impact. So one day, you are just trying to turn and boom, everything falls apart. Though, I know a Honda model that rarely exhibits this, the Honda iRobot, rarely exhibits this bad character. I wonder why. Number four is the W205 C300 engine failure. Hey, yeah, this fine car has a defect, but there's a logical explanation for it. The W205 C300 runs on a four-cylinder turbocharged engine. And in all honesty, Mercedes-Benz will not give us their flagship base C300 model without a V6 engine. But in a bid to abide with emission guidelines, they decided to experiment on a four-cylinder C300, which came out as a failure. Anyone that buys C300 buys it with the hope of enjoying the road and enjoying the ride. However, for 2015 to 2018 C300, <laughs> the cylinder is very fragile. Once you begin to approach 80,000 miles, everything falls apart because the cylinder will damage. But if you want to buy the C300, we advise that you go for the 2019 upwards because this one has an updated engine and we can guarantee that the updated engine does not have the issues of the former engine. Number five is the Lexus Toyota dashboard belting problem. In most Toyota cars between the years 2007 and 2011, they are very weak dashboards that begin to melt one year into your Tokumbo ownership experience. The most common cars affected by this are the Lexus IS250, Lexus RX330, Lexus ES350, Toyota Camry, the Toyota Sienna, and even the Toyota Solara. The solution to this is to buy a mat and put over the dashboard. Or you can also buy a treatment kit that is liquid that you can apply on the dashboard to stop this melting process. Or rather still, get an upholstery technician so that you can change the radar altogether. These are the most common car defects in everyday cars that you have a high probability of buying. Can you do something for me? Can you put a car with a car defect in the comment section so that this video can help everybody make the best car buying decision?